Hello friends, in the current video we will understand the concept of uh, we are already doing bills of exchange uh, under this I will show you how to pass the general address right so bills of exchange general entries right already we have discussed the different options the drawer of the bill will have right so now we will understand the general entries when the bill is honored right when the bill is honored Right, we will be having two situations when the bill is honored and dishonored. Now we will take up general entries when the bill is honored. In the sense what, what do you mean by bill is honored? Honored is refers to when the amount of bill accepted by the drawee is paid on the maturity date. That is called as honored. So making the payment is called as bill is honored. So as you are already aware, there would be two parties. One is uh, drawer or the maker of the bill second one is a drawee or acceptor of the bill so in this both the books of accounts that is drawer and drawee that is maker or acceptor of the bill what will be the general entries in different situations right so first one is when goods sold when goods sold then what will be the general entry goods sold by whom the drawer that is maker of the bill and purchased by drawing so suppose here we will understand x and y for be better understanding sake of the general entries i'll explain x is the drawer and y is the drawee and the first general entry when goods sold to y right so what will be the general entry so it is bear in mind it is a credit sales so the entry would be y's account data to sales account in whose book it is this journal entry we are writing in the books of drawer that is seller of the goods whereas what this fellow will write the purchaser he will write purchases account data to from whom he is purchasing x account so we are selling to y so y account debit the receiver y account data y we are debiting y because we are selling the material so y account data to sales whereas y will write purchases account data to x account so bear in mind the relationship in the books of x y has been recorded as a data from whom the money has to be received whereas in the books of y x has been written as creditor here it is data and here it is creditor so in both the books like in one book in the books of x y's name has been recorded as data and in the books of y x name has been recorded as creditor now what will happen the second situation second situation is when the bill is accepted accepted by whom the drawing right so what is happening the x will pre prepare a bill and send to the y and once y accepts the bill what will be the journal entry so in the books of x what will happen the name of y already recorded as data this name will get closed by opening a new account called as bills receivable receivable account data to which account will get closed wise account will get closed right so wise account 
so already the data account will be converted as bills receivable hence wise account will get closed bear in mind we are opening bills receivable and closing wise account whereas in the books of drawy the entry would be the x account will get here y accounts get closed how it will get closed y accounts opened by debiting get closed by crediting right so x account will get closed by op by a by open by crediting and closed by debiting hence x account data to bills payable account bills payable account so when the bill is accepted bills receivable in the books of drawer and y account will get closed in the books of y x account will get closed by debiting and bills payable account is open so these two general entries will be basically written when material sold and bill is accepted now the different situations as we have already discussed right situation 1 now bill is held by whom now the holder of the bill is x x is having the options to exercise so as i told you the option with these are the basic general entries two general entries will be available irrespective of the question and second the situations right the situation one is when bill is retained till the maturity date who will retain the bill x will retain the bill till the maturity date what will be the general entry the general entry would be on the maturity date the entry would be amount will be received because we are considering bills are honored in the sense the person on whose name we have drawn the bill the fellow acceptor will be making the payment on the due date he is not making any default right so the entry would be bank or cash anything account data to bills receivable account get opened no so this will get closed to bills receivable bills account right whereas in this in the books of why the entry would be bills payable account will get closed so the entry would be bills payable account data to bank or cash cash anything so like this we pass the general entries right so the narration for this would be being goods sold to y being goods purchased from x being bills accepted by why being bills accepted being bills receivable received being bills payable paid the narration so first situation when the bill is honored now we will understand the second situation and the second situation i told you when the bill is sent to bank for collection in the second situation right so second situation when the bill sent to bank for collection so when the bill sent to bank for collection what will be the entry so what will happen here the holder of the bill what he will do he will send the bill to bank for collection so here there are two situation when bill is sent to bank for collection one is on sending the bill bill on the date of sending the bill what will be the entry here the entry will be bills for collection account data to bills receivable account 
in the sense what we have opened bills receivable account by debiting and now we are closing the account by crediting and we are sending bills to bank for collection hence we have opened a new account called as bills for collection to be shown in our financial statement so on sending the bill to bank the drawee will not write any entry so no entry here right he will not write any entry but on next situation is on collection that is or on maturity day on maturity day so what will be the entry on collection or on maturity date the entry will be bills per collection is open it will get closed the entry would be bank account data to bills per collection so this account will be this entry will be passed so bills per collection account get opened get closed by crediting opened by debiting get closed by crediting a new account bank account will be opened whereas this fellow will pass an entry the entry would be the same entry for payment that is bills payable account data to bank or cash anything all right so like this two entries will be passed in case of bills sent to bank for collection next is most important that is when bill is discounted third situation when bill is discounted so as i told you what do you mean by discounting of the bill discounting of the bill is refers to what we call selling the bill or giving the bill to bank and taking the money immediately that is called as discounting concept so the entry would be the entry would be bank account data but banker will charge such a commission called as discount so that will be a loss for us it will be debited so bank account data discount account data to bills receivable account bills receivable account so whatever amount received will be debited discount account will be deb debited and bills receivable account will get closed by what we call with total amount it is what on the date of discount on the date of discount discounting on the date of discounting but on the date of discounting in the books of drawee there is no entry he will not write any entry he is no way connected with the discounting of the bill because drawer is giving the bill to the banker but on the maturity date but on maturity date this fellow will, will not pass any entry no entry that is the drawer will not pass any entry because bill has been already sold to bank and money has been collected so what the bank will do bank will present the bill to the drawer and ask for payment so then the payment entry would be the same entry that is bills payable account data to bank or cash right so like this the entries will be passed right and the last situation that is when bill is endorsed to customer right so when bill is endorsed to customer the entry would be so here only i will show right so just two entries here i will show right so when bill endorsed 
to sorry creditor not customer creditor that is fourth situation so in the books of drawer and draw like this i will be writing right so on endorsement on endorsing the bill the entry would be creditor account data to bills receivable account so we are giving the bill to creditor but on endorsement the drawee will not pass any entry no entry there will not be any entry in the books of drawee but on maturity the already bill has been given to creditor he will collect the money therefore no entry in the books of drawee whereas drawee will write the same entry that is bills payable account data to cash or bank so like this the entries will be passed right so one most important thing i would like to tell you here once again the revision is when goods are sold the buyer account data to sales account in the books of buyer purchases account data to seller account so relationship of debtor and creditor will be created then when the bill is made and accepted by the drawee bills receivable account will be opened and the buyer account the debtor account will get closed here creditor account will get closed and bills payable account it will get opened then when bill is retained till the maturity date the entry would be bank account data to bills receivable then this fellow will write the bills payable account data to bank or cash it is a very simple situation but when the bill is sent to bank for collection in the books of drawer we are writing two entries uh, <coughs> sorry on sending the bill as well as on collection of the bill right on sending the bill drawee will not pass any entry but one while making the payment the entry will be remain same that is bills payable to bank the discounting the bill bank and discount charges will be debited and bills receivable will get closed and no entry on the date but on the maturity this fellow will not pass any entry but this fellow will pass the same entry that is bills payable to bank so on endorsement creditor account data to bills receivable on maturity no entry on endorsement drawee will not pass an entry but, but but on payment bills payable to cash or bank so in all the situation whether it may be retain till the maturity date sending the bill to bank discounting or endorsement the payment entry will remain same in the books of drawee that is bills payable to bank the same entry banker cash this entry will be passed i hope i made you understand the general entries this is our basic general entries which are very very important once you understand the basic crux of this general entries it is easy for you to do the problem right so please do subscribe my channel in further videos i will show you how to solve the problems right so do subscribe my channel and motivate me to more provide more qualitative videos thank you